in this lecture we'll be discussing about stable and unstable systems so by now we have discussed the other types of systems like uh, causal non causal static dynamic linear non linear and time invariant and time variant systems and finally this is the last type of systems that is stable and unstable systems <clears throat> so what do we understand by a stable system a stable system means we say that has to be a bi bibo we say it has to be a bibo stable system bibo stability means bounded input b for bounded i for input again b for bounded o for output so it's like this bounded input and bounded output so for a system to be stable it has to be a bounded input bounded output system what does that mean it means that the output of the system has to be bounded for bounded input sequence at each and every point of time i repeat the output from any given system has to be bounded for a bounded input sequence at each and every point of time now what is meant by bounded that has to be understood so the definition of a stable system is for a bounded or to reverse it the output output from a system has to be bounded for bounded input signal or sequence at each and every point of time so this is the definition of a stable system output from the system under consideration has to be bounded for bounded input signal at each and every point of time <clears throat> now what is the meaning of bounded here bounded means at each and every point of time from minus infinity to infinity it has to have a finite value is that understood bounded the term bounded means bounded means it has to have a finite finite value from minus infinity to infinity is that clear bounded value means the signal has to have a finite value between minus infinity to infinity at any given point of time it has to have a finite value the output has to have a finite value from minus infinity to infinity for a bounded input signal that means for a signal input signal which is also finite from minus infinity to infinity so again i repeat that output from a system has to be finite or has to be of a finite value from minus infinity to infinity for a given input signal which is also finite within the range of minus infinity to infinity then it will be said to be a stable system otherwise it is unstable so now let us take one example of this <clears throat> so as we are discussing discrete time system we have already said that you know, in digital signal processing we are dealing with digital signals digital signals are discrete time signals so we'll be taking one digital uh, system or discrete time system which is represented by means of yn and xn only so the system equation let us assume that it is yn is equal to nxn 
so this is the equation of the system under consideration now we have to check whether this system is stable or not so how do you find it from the definition it is clear that bounded output has to be there for a bounded input so what are the bounded inputs let us discuss few bounded inputs suppose i say examples of bounded inputs now if you think of the function unit step function that we have already discussed unit step signal unit step signal is you know, the value of that is within you know it's actually 1 plus 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 at n less than equal to 0 that we have already discussed unit step function is like this so for n greater than equal to 0 its value is 1 otherwise at n less than equal to 0 its value is 0 that means this is a this signal is a if it is given as an input that means it is a bounded input so in unit step is a bounded input now if you think of a sinusoidal signal say sine of n that is also a bounded signal because its maximum and minimum value lies between plus and minus 1 that we know if you take cos n also that is also it, it lies between you know, 0 and 1 rather so that is also a bounded input if you think of a DC signal, that is also a bounded input. We know that a DC signal has got a fixed value from minus infinity to infinity. It has got a fixed value. You know, the time instant may depend or may vary if the duration of its existence. It may exist from say minus 5 to a plus 10, it may exist from minus infinity to infinity that will depend on the type of the signal but it is a finite value signal again during its time of existence so dc signal is also a kind of a bounded input signal so these are few examples of bounded input signal why i am discussing this because for example we'll take in this case suppose we take un as the input signal here consider the bounded input here let us assume that the input is this unit step function or unit step signal which is a bounded input. Now for this what will be the output if the input if the input is un which is a bounded input if the input is un which is a bounded input as we know its value is plus 1 for n greater than equal to 0 its value is 0 for n less than equal to 0 that means it is a finite signal within the range of minus infinity to infinity and that may be taken as a bounded input then in this case the output will be yn is equal to n un And if we sum it up from minus infinity to infinity, because by the definition of stable uh, system, it has to be a finite output or finite value of the output at each and every point of time from minus infinity to infinity. Now, if you add this, if you sum it up from n minus infinity to infinity for n u n, this value is not a finite signals value because this will not be finite because if you continue this is actually a ramp signal this is actually a ramp signal now you need step functions this un value this un value this is one from minus infinity to infinity from minus infinity to zero it is zero from zero to uh, zero onwards this unit step function has got a value of one now if it is multiplied with n if you start from 0 that means at 0 it is 0 multiplied by 0 means 
now at 1 it is 1 into 1 at 2 the value is 2 into 1 so 2 and so on 1 2 3 and so on with time this is ever increasing function which is ramp function and as n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity this summation will also approach infinity which is a ramp function from at each and every point of time the value is increasing like 1 2 3 4 5 to infinity if you go on adding them then this y n will result in in finite value that means it is not having a finite value it is not having a finite value at each and every point of time from minus infinity which is violating the uh, clause of bounded output for a bounded input that means this signal or this system rather this system is unstable system because here the output is not bounded that means the output is not having a finite value at each and every point of time for a bounded input signal so this is an unstable type of a system whereas if you consider another another system suppose I write this as yn is equal to xn plus 2. If I write this system like this, yn is equal to xn plus 2. And let us take the input as the input to be a DC signal. So that is a bounded input. Maybe say say this xn has got a value of maybe 4 so like this the constant value 4 this is a DC signal which time remains constant now if that is the input input is 4 that means output will be also you know, just added to that 4 plus 2 which is 6 so for a bounded input this has got a bounded output or a finite output so this is a this signal is a signal or this system or rather this system is a system where the output for a bounded input is also bounded at each and every point of time from minus infinity to infinity so this system is a stable system so i hope that the understanding of stable and unstable system is clear so with this the types of systems we are getting over with the types of systems and in the next lecture we will be discussing with how to represent a signal how to represent a signal by unit impulses and what is convolution convolution sound